Right-wing politics hold that certain social orders and hierarchies are inevitable, natural, normal or desirable, typically supporting this position on the basis of natural law, economics or tradition. Hierarchy and inequality may be viewed as natural results of traditional social differences or the competition in market economies. The term right-wing can generally refer to the conservative or reactionary section of a political party or system. The political terms left and right were first used during the French Revolution 1789 to 1799 and referred to seating arrangements in the French parliament those who sat to the right of the chair of the parliamentary president were broadly supportive of the institutions of the monarchist old regime the original right in France was formed as a reaction against the left and comprised those politicians supporting hierarchy tradition and clericalism the use of the expression la droite the right became prominent in France after the restoration of the monarchy in 1815, when it was applied to the ultra-royalists. The people of English-speaking countries did not apply the terms right and left to their own politics until the 20th century, although the right-wing originated with traditional conservatives, monarchists and reactionaries, the term extreme right-wing has also been applied to movements including fascism, Nazism and racial supremacy. From the 1830s to the 1880s, there was a shift in the Western world of social class structure and the economy, moving away from nobility and aristocracy towards capitalism. This general economic shift toward capitalism affected centre-right movements such as the British Conservative Party, which responded by becoming supportive of capitalism. In the United States, the right includes both economic and social conservatives. In Europe, economic conservatives are usually considered liberal and the right includes nationalists, nativist opposition to immigration, religious conservatives and historically a significant presence of right-wing movements with anti-capitalist sentiments including conservatives and fascists who opposed what they saw as the selfishness and excessive materialism inherent in contemporary capitalism. History The political term right-wing was first used during the French Revolution, when liberal deputies of the Third Estate generally sat to the left of the president's chair, a custom that began in the Estates General of 1789. The nobility, members of the Second Estate, generally sat to the right. In the successive legislative assemblies, monarchists who supported the old regime were commonly referred to as rightists because they sat on the right side. A major figure on the right was Joseph de Maistre, who argued for an authoritarian form of conservatism. Throughout the 19th century, the main line dividing left and right in France was between supporters of the Republic often secularists and supporters of the monarchy often Catholics. On the right, the legitimists and ultra-royalists held counter-revolutionary views, while the Orleanists hoped to create a constitutional monarchy under their preferred branch of the royal family, a brief reality after the 1830 July Revolution. The centre-right Gaullists in post-World War II France advocated considerable social spending on education and infrastructure development as well as extensive economic regulation, but limited the wealth redistribution measures characteristic of social democracy. In British politics, the terms right and left came into common use for the first time in the late 1930s in debates over the Spanish Civil War. The right has gone through five distinct historical stages, i. the reactionary right sought a return to aristocracy and established religion, Two, the moderate right distrusted intellectuals and sought limited government, Three, the radical right favored a romantic and aggressive nationalism, i.v. the extreme right proposed anti-immigration policies and implicit racism, and v. the neoliberal right sought to combine a market economy and economic deregulation with the traditional right-wing beliefs in patriotism, elitism and law and order. Topic. Positions The meaning of right-wing varies across societies, historical epochs, and political systems and ideologies. According to the concise Oxford Dictionary of Politics, in liberal democracies, the political right opposes socialism and social democracy. Right-wing parties include conservatives, Christian Democrats, classical liberals, nationalists and on the far right, racists and fascists. Roger Eatwell and Neil O'Sullivan divide the right into five types: reactionary, moderate, radical, extreme, and new. Chip Burlett argues that each of these styles of thought are responses to the left, 
including liberalism and socialism, which have arisen since the 1789 French Revolution. The reactionary right looks toward the past and is aristocratic, religious and authoritarian. The moderate right, typified by the writings of Edmund Burke, is tolerant of change, provided it is gradual and accepts some aspects of liberalism, including the rule of law and capitalism, although it sees radical laissez-faire and individualism as harmful to society. The moderate right often promotes nationalism and social welfare policies. Radical right is a term developed after World War II to describe groups and ideologies such as McCarthyism, the John Birch Society, Thatcherism and the Republicaner Party. Eatwell stresses that this use has major typological problems, and that the term has also been applied to clearly democratic developments. The radical right includes right-wing populism and various other subtypes. Eatwell argues that the extreme right has four traits. 1. Anti-democracy, 2. Nationalism, 3. Racism, and 4. The strong state. The new right consists of the liberal conservatives, who stress small government, free markets and individual initiative. Other authors make a distinction between the center-right and the far-right. Parties of the center-right generally support liberal democracy, capitalism, the market economy though they may accept government regulation to control monopolies, private property rights and a limited welfare state for example, government provision of education and medical care. They support conservatism and economic liberalism and oppose socialism and communism. By contrast, the phrase, far right, is used to describe those who favor an absolutist government, which uses the power of the state to support the dominant ethnic group or religion and often to criminalize other ethnic groups or religions. Typical examples of leaders to whom the far-right label is often applied are, Francisco Franco in Spain, Benito Mussolini in Italy, Adolf Hitler in Nazi Germany and Augusto Pinochet in Chile. The United States Department of Homeland Security defines right-wing extremism in the United States as broadly divided into those groups, movements, and adherents that are primarily hate-oriented based on hatred of particular religious, racial or ethnic groups, and those that are mainly anti-government, rejecting federal authority in favor of state or local authority, or rejecting government authority entirely. It may include groups and individuals that are dedicated to a single issue, such as opposition to abortion or immigration. <laughs> Social stratification Right-wing politics involves in varying degrees the rejection of some egalitarian objectives of left-wing politics, claiming either that social or economic inequality is natural and inevitable or that it is beneficial to society. Right-wing ideologies and movements support social order. The original French right-wing was called the party of order and held that France needed a strong political leader to keep order. British conservative scholar R. J. White, who rejects egalitarianism, wrote Men are equal before God and the laws, but unequal in all else. Hierarchy is the order of nature, and privilege is the reward of honorable service. American conservative Russell Kirk also rejected egalitarianism as imposing sameness, stating, Men are created different, and a government that ignores this law becomes an unjust government for it sacrifices nobility to mediocrity. Kirk took as one of the canons of conservatism the principle that civilized society requires orders and classes right libertarians reject collective or state imposed equality as undermining reward for personal merit initiative and enterprise in their view it is unjust limits personal freedom and leads to social uniformity and mediocrity topic <laughs> anti-communism the original use of Right wing, in reference to communism, had the conservatives on the right, the liberals in the center, and the communists on the left. Both the conservatives and the liberals were strongly anti communist. The history of the use of the term right wing to mean anti communist is a complicated one. Early Marxist movements were at odds with the traditional monarchies that ruled over much of the European continent at the time. Many European monarchies outlawed the public expression of communist views and the Communist Manifesto, which began, a «spectre» that «is haunting Europe», stated that monarchs feared for their thrones. 
Advocacy of communism was illegal in the Russian Empire, the German Empire and Austria-Hungary, the three most powerful monarchies in continental Europe prior to World War I. Many monarchists except constitutional monarchists viewed inequality in wealth and political power as resulting from a divine natural order. The struggle between monarchists and communists was often described as a struggle between the right and the left. By World War I, in most European monarchies, the divine right of kings had become discredited and replaced by liberal and nationalist movements. Most European monarchs became figureheads or accepted a lesser degree of powers while elected governments held the day-to-day -day power. The most conservative European monarchy, the Russian Empire, was replaced by the Communist Soviet Union. The Russian Revolution inspired a series of other communist revolutions across Europe in the years 1917–1922. Many of these, such as the German Revolution, were defeated by nationalist and monarchist military units. In this period, nationalism began to be considered right-wing, especially when it opposed the internationalism of the communists. The 1920s and 1930s saw the fading of traditional right-wing politics. The mantle of conservative anti-communism was taken up by the rising fascist movements on the one hand and by American-inspired liberal conservatives on the other. When communist groups and political parties began appearing around the world, their opponents were usually colonial authorities and the term right-wing came to be applied to colonialism. After World War II, communism became a global phenomenon and anti-communism became an integral part of the domestic and foreign policies of the United States and its NATO allies. Conservatism in the post-war era abandoned its monarchist and aristocratic roots, focusing instead on patriotism, religious values and nationalism. Throughout the Cold War, colonial governments in Asia, Africa and Latin America turned to the United States for political and economic support. Communists were also enemies of capitalism, portraying Wall Street as the oppressor of the masses. The United States made anti-communism the top priority of its foreign policy and many American conservatives sought to combat what they saw as communist influence at home. This led to the adoption of a number of domestic policies that are collectively known under the term McCarthyism. While both liberals and conservatives were anti-communist, the followers of Senator McCarthy were called right-wing and those on the right called liberals who favored free speech, even for communists, leftist. Topic. Economics In France after the French Revolution, the right fought against the rising power of those who had grown rich through commerce and sought to preserve the rights of the hereditary nobility. They were uncomfortable with capitalism, the Enlightenment, individualism and industrialism and fought to retain traditional social hierarchies and institutions. In Europe's history, there have been strong collectivist right-wing movements, such as in the social Catholic right that has exhibited hostility to all forms of liberalism including economic liberalism and has historically advocated for paternalist class harmony involving an organic hierarchical society where workers are protected while hierarchy of classes remain. In the 19th century, the right had shifted to support the newly rich in some European countries particularly England and instead of favoring the nobility over industrialists, favored capitalists over the working class. Other right-wing movements, such as Carlism in Spain and nationalist movements in France, Germany and Russia, remained hostile to capitalism and industrialism. However, there are still a few right-wing movements today, notably the French Nouvelle Droite, Casapound and American Pala conservatives, that are often in opposition to capitalist ethics and the effects they have on society as a whole, which they see as infringing upon or causing the decay of social traditions or hierarchies that they see as essential for social order. In modern times, right-wing is sometimes used to describe laissez-faire capitalism. In Europe, capitalists formed alliances with the right during their conflicts with workers after 1848. In France, the right's support of capitalism can be traced to the late 19th century. The so-called neoliberal right, popularized by U.S. President Ronald Reagan and U.K. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, combines support for free markets, privatization and deregulation with traditional right-wing support for social conformity. Right-wing libertarianism, sometimes known as libertarian conservatism or conservative libertarianism, supports a decentralized economy based on economic freedom and holds property rights, free markets and free trade to be the most important kinds of freedom. Russell Kirk believed that freedom and property rights were interlinked. Anthony Gregory has written that right-wing libertarianism 
can refer to any number of varying and at times mutually exclusive political orientations. Gregory holds that the issue is neither right or left, but whether a person sees the state as a major hazard or just another institution to be reformed and directed toward a political goal. Conservative authoritarians and those on the far right have supported fascism and corporatism. Topic: <laughs> Nationalism. In France, nationalism was originally a left-wing and republican ideology. After the period of Boulangisme and the Dreyfus Affair, nationalism became a trait of the right-wing. Right-wing nationalists sought to define and defend a true national identity from elements deemed to be corrupting that identity. Some were supremacists, who in accordance with social Darwinism applied the concept of survival of the fittest to nations and races. Right-wing nationalism was influenced by Romantic nationalism, in which the state derives its political legitimacy from the organic unity of those it governs. This generally includes the language, race, culture, religion and customs of the nation, all of which were «born» within its culture. Linked with right-wing nationalism is cultural conservatism, which supports the preservation of the heritage of a nation or culture and often sees deviations from cultural norms as an existential threat. Natural law and traditionalism Right-wing politics typically justifies a hierarchical society on the basis of natural law or tradition. Traditionalism was advocated by a group of United States University professors labeled the New Conservatives by the popular press who rejected the concepts of individualism, liberalism, modernity and social progress, seeking instead to promote what they identified as cultural and educational renewal and a revived interest in what T.S. Eliot referred to as the permanent things. Concepts perceived by traditionalists as truths that endure from age to age alongside basic institutions of Western society such as the church, the family, the state and business. Populism Right-wing populism is a combination of civic, ethno-nationalism with anti-elitism, using populist rhetoric to provide a radical critique of existing political institutions. According to Margaret Canovan, a right-wing populist is a charismatic leader, using the tactics of politicians' populism to go past the politicians and intellectual elite and appeal to the reactionary sentiments of the populace, often buttressing his claim to speak for the people by the use of referendums. In Europe, right-wing populism often takes the form of distrust of the European Union and of politicians in general combined with anti-immigrant rhetoric and a call for a return to traditional, national values. In the United States, the Tea Party movement states that the core beliefs for membership are the primacy of individual liberties as defined in the Constitution of the United States, small federal government and respect for the rule of law. Some policy positions include an opposition to illegal immigration, a strong national military force, the right to individual gun ownership, cutting taxes, reducing government spending and balancing the budget. Religion Government support for an established religion was associated with the original French right. Joseph de Maistre argued for the indirect authority of the Pope over temporal matters. According to Maestra, only governments founded upon a Christian constitution, implicit in the customs and institutions of all European societies and especially in Catholic European monarchies, could avoid the disorder and bloodshed that followed the implementation of rationalist political programs, as in the French Revolution. The Church of England was established by Henry VIII and some churchmen are given seats in the House of Lords, but are considered politically neutral rather than being specifically right or left-wing. Religious fundamentalists frequently feel that governments should enact laws supporting their religious tenets. The Christian right is a major force in North America. They generally support laws upholding what they consider religious values, such as opposition to abortion, contraception, sex outside marriage and to same-sex marriage and reject scientific positions on evolution and other matters where science disagrees with the Bible. Outside the West, some other religious and ethnicity-based political groups are considered right-wing. In India, Hindu nationalism is sometimes considered a part of the right. 
The Hindu nationalist movement has attracted privileged groups fearing encroachment on their dominant positions and also plebeian and impoverished groups seeking recognition around a majoritarian rhetoric of cultural pride, order and national strength. Many Islamist groups have been called right-wing including the Great Union Party and the Combatant Clergy Association, Association of Militant Clergy and the Islamic Society of Engineers of Iran. The term family values has been used as a buzzword by right-wing parties such as the Republican Party in the United States, the Family First Party in Australia, the Conservative Party in the United Kingdom and the Bharatiya Janata Party in India to describe support for traditional families and opposition to the changes the modern world has made in how families live. Right-wing supporters of family values may oppose abortion, euthanasia, the increasing cultural acceptance of homosexuality, divorce, teenage pregnancy and adultery. Topic see also topic References topic Further reading Burlett, Chip. When Alienation Turns Right. In Langman, Lauren and Colican Fishman eds, The Evolution of Alienation, Trauma, Promise, and the Millennium. Lanham, M.D., Roman and Littlefield, 2006 ISBN 0-7425-1835-3, ISBN 978-0-7425-1835-3 Davies, Peter. The Extreme Right in France, 1789 to the Present, From De Maistre to Le Pen. New York, New York, Routledge, 2002 ISBN 0-415-23982-6, ISBN 978-0-415-23982-0 Eatwell, Roger. Introduction, The New Extreme Right Challenge. In Eatwell, Roger and Muddle, CAs, EDs, Western Democracies and the New Extreme Right Challenge. London, UK, Routledge, 2004 ISBN 0-415-36971-1, ISBN 978-0-415-36971-8 Eatwell, Roger. Conclusion, The End of Ideology. In Eatwell, Roger and Wright, Anthony, eds, Contemporary Political Ideologies. Continuum International Publishing Group, 1999 ISBN 0-8264-5173-X, 9780826451736 Felix, Mike, Lalwar, Laura Lott eds. Trouble on the Far Right. Contemporary Right-Wing Strategies and Practices in Europe. Bielefeld, Transcript, 2016 ISBN 978-3-8376-3720-5 Baquetta, Paula, Power, Margaret eds. Right-wing women, from conservatives to extremists around the world. New York, Routledge, 2002. Gottlieb, Julie, Berethizen, Clarice eds. Rethinking Right-wing Women, Gender and the Conservative Party, 1880s to the Present. 2017 Topic. External links Quotations related to rightism at Wikiquote